up in Menlo Park, a town smack in the heart of Silicon Valley, doing one of those conversations on stage in front of an audience. I was talking to Susan Wojcicki, the CEO of YouTube. Google bought that company in 2006 on Wojcicki's recommendation. She has been running it since 2014, and we're going to pick up our chat with her talking about when she realized what a video going viral was really all about. Then we actually had our first hit, yeah. and our first hit were these students, these Chinese students in their dorm room singing to the Backstreet Boys, and they have their roommate in the background doing homework. Um, but they're so funny that everybody watched it. And so, you know, for me, this light bulb went off where I realized, wow, other people can be entertaining. Lots of people out there can produce content that other people want to see. And there's actually something really human about the fact that so many people want to express themselves and um, have other people enjoy that. And, and that was a light bulb for me that made me realize that video and the enab technology enabling anyone to create video was going to be really powerful. Talk to me for a minute then about original content. Uh, yeah. And because you got to get there in a substantive way, right? Yeah, well, I mean, we so we have started doing original content um, like everybody else. Yep. Our YouTube originals are focused on YouTube stars. And so, like, PewDiePie, who's our largest mm -hmm. creator, he's a, sweet, a Swedish, Swedish guy. Right. A Swedish guy. And he plays games, and he talks over the games. He narrates the games. So he did a show called Scare PewDiePie, which was um, something different than his regular programming. What we did was he was actually doing real-life game and challenges. So, and so wait, so you went to him and commissioned this, and you said, hey, listen, PewDiePie, we have this idea. Let's let's work together on this thing. Yeah, so we, we have been doing that. We've, we will have ideas or we'll buy content from other producers. Sometimes our creators come to us and they say, We've all, I've always wanted to do a movie. Um, you know, right now on YouTube, I do this daily vlog, but my dream is to do a movie about this. And so it's, it's worked really well. We're, our creators have actually seen that that has helped them get more adoption on their on the YouTube platform because we have some additional shows that, that are that are higher end from them uh, there's a um, there's a question to be asked here about um, this place uh, Silicon Valley yeah uh, and uh, what it has come to mean in this economy and this society yeah and every single article about you says Susan Wojcicki was in Silicon Valley before it was Silicon Valley you're yeah. born and raised here that's true um, <laughs> high school here I mean the whole deal I did um, so so the question is what do you make of what this place has become when you look around at Silicon yeah. Valley for all the goods and ills yeah I mean, when I was growing up here and I went to high school, we used to always think to talk about how we were going to leave because there was nothing yeah. to do. And <laughs> I remember in our high school paper, we wrote this article about what are things that you can do after 10 in Palo Alto. And one of them was going to Safeway. Um, <laughs> another one was going to Denny's. The fact that there's so much transition that's happening, there's so much change in the world, and a lot of it started here. And wherever you go, you see people on their cell phone, and I see them using Google products, and, and that's really, um, you know, that's an honor. It's, it's great to see the impact that we can have here with technology um, and the responsibility that comes with that. This isn't my original thought, but it's in sure. a, a lot of the reading that I have done about you. YouTube yeah. is a cultural force mm -hmm. uh, uh, in this society. Is it, though, an economic one yet? Well, you know, economics and especially digital economics, they take time to develop. We look at our numbers and we, um, you know, some of the numbers that we've released, for example, is we've paid out over $3 billion to the music industry, for example. Um, the number of creators who are generating six-figure incomes is increasing by 50%. Think about um, that for a second. Year. So we have YouTube, YouTube creators making six-figure salaries. Yes. I mean, we, ha I mean the, the, we have creators who are making more than six-figure yeah. salaries. Yeah. So, right? A lot yeah. more. So it depends where you are on that spectrum. This is the new form of media company, right? Individuals who have a skill, um, want to be an entertainer, want to do how-to, and then they get enough popularity that they can actually go out and hire staff and do this even better. There will come a time, yes, at some point, where Sergey and Larry and and uh, the folks at that level of the of Alphabet aren't going to want to do it anymore. 
There's a fair bet that they come to you and say, hey, Susan, you're going to run this whole thing. Is that attractive to you? Um, well, first of all, I don't, I don't think that's going to happen. Um, <laughs> I, because I, I've known them for many years. I think they enjoy what they're doing. And I think right now they're in a position where they actually get to re- innovate right they're they're able they're in a position with alphabet to be able to focus on all these new companies and these new bets um sender is running google um so but if they did then probably i'd say yes um but i i'm not i don't think that's that's in my future i think they're gonna be at alphabet i think they enjoy alphabet i think they like to create um and i think we're gonna see a lot more exciting innovations out of them Susan Wojcicki, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you.